yeah, so it's basically, um, what describes as a sacred companion, um, it's there to use it as a, um, what it's there for, but, <laughs> yep, it was like that. I don't know. <laughs> you have to nurture the bees. I'll have to be regarded. <laughs> um, is, it, is it related to novels? Yeah, it's good novels. Because you've got the cognitive axiom that will be first in novel. Yeah. It's about getting it all. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, the other thing it points out is to not look at your theory of function and take it simply. So a lot of the time we sort of, we, yeah, we don't want to deal with it, it's sort of like, sad, um, which is sort of what we talked about before about the boarding it. So, all right. Um, finally, let's <laughs> <laughs> break up. Um, I've got some reference things there for you, and there's some further reading there as well. So, so we'll show this on the new stuff, so. Yeah. So, so just to clarify, so I know it's difficult for people who are new to MBTI. So MBTI, the four letters, 16 times. That's like a shorthand, a, the basic guide um, to understand this easily. The function is, is closer to the theory of Carl Jung, um, that MBTI was originally developed from his work and the functions. Um, and basically, each type, each four letter type, will have one set of functions. So. That, that's your function. So as Jen says, you can look online to find out what your functions are. Um, there are a total of eight different functions, and they're based on the, the foundation of the middle two letters. So your N, your S, your F, and your T. Okay? So for each of those four letters, you have extroverted and introverted. So extroverted intuition, introverted intuition. So that makes eight functions, and then each MBTI type will have four of those eight functions. And then you have the four shadow functions, which you didn't talk about, but um, that's a whole other lecture. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, so really the four functions sort of uh, kind of describe how you operate, really, in a way. Um, and it's, you know, the, the, the stand, it's just another way of looking at your personality type. It's kind of closer to the theory. So, any other questions about what the functions look like, like that on functions? So, yeah, so that's going to be covered. That's the next one. Yeah. So I've got some, um, after the break, we'll, uh, I've got some sort of some group discussion questions just to get started. And then I've got a little um, um, summary of for each type. So it, looks, it tells you all your functions, um, it gives you an example of what you do when you're stressed and all that. So these will be on each table and you can sort of look through your type. And Great, thank you very much again. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a break in a minute. Just a couple of notices first. Um, first of all, what do I need to say? Okay, so um, in the second half, we'll break into a couple of groups in these tables. And I'll pass around to Tim as well, in case you want to.